Welcome back. <clears throat> In this lesson, what you're going to be learning is some basic HTML tags. Basic HTML tags. In the former lesson, you will notice that we wrote a simple HTML. I'm going to be writing that again. Let me write the topic. Basic HTML tags. So, in the former lesson, we gave you a simple snapshot of HTML uh, development. I'm going to be writing that again. Uh, let's see docs, doc type. Remember to put your apostrophe here, doc type. You close it. You now see HTML. You close the HTML below. HTML. You say add. You close the add here. You say the body. And you close the body here. Every document that you're going to be attaching or you're going to be formatting on this, in this um, HTML tags or in, or in this um, web page, you know, this we are in the process of creating a web page is going to be residing inside the body. This is where you're going to be putting all the documents that you're attaching, and you know that web pages constitute a lot of documents. It could be videos, it could be te text, it could be uh, limits or audio or anything that you want to showcase to the world. It comes in here. Now, here, you see, normally, if you look at a website, if you look at a website, I'm going to be showing you a website now. This is a website for development as that we just did. Um, If you look at this website, this is where the uh, the ad. This is what shows the ad. Can you see this? This is the ad for this website. So if I want to, let me say I want to imitate this website or I want to showcase this website. What I just need to do is write this here. Just say ad. I say modu home. Home. Then I'll close it back. Head. Now, all the other bodies sit here. Now, the modu home that we are looking at here. The module home that you are looking at here, this module home, has already been written. This is where it's been written on the eight parts of the HTML development. Oh, sorry, I meant to say tie two. This is meant to be tie two, tie two. I'm going to be cleaning that up so that I can, you can understand what we're saying. That's not it. That's the title of the page. Okay. Pi 2. The same thing happening is here. You close the title here. Okay. So you can now see that this is the title, and that is where you that is where you uh, identify the title that you are talking about here. Now all these other docu all these other content that you're looking at here they are all found on that year so this is the basic just have this basic html tags uh noted now other tags i mean one of the tags that is very important is the html the edge edge close 
these are tags add sorry add whatever you see is up less than and greater than it must be close you must have add close then content comes in the inside the same thing applies to body then content close also body now there are some tags that come inside body that helps in the formatting of the document that we wanted to present such includes h1 h2 this is adding tags adding tags to h6 remember that if you want to write a topic you write uh let's say you want to have a uh, uh, introduction like this is a tag i mean like, like this is a topic I underrule it because I want it to be different from I want it to be it, to be known to the customer that this is what I'm using to talk today. So in HTML, what you can just do, you can just write H1, open close, then say basic HTML tags, then I'll close it back. H1. Now, if you look at this website, let's look at this website again. We're going to be taking any law of reference to this website. Okay. If you look at this website again, this is the heading. What we're looking at here, this is the heading that describes this section. That describes this section. And, um... This is also looks like a heading. This is also an heading, a heading. You can see that these are all the the big big words. They are all headings. So if I want to specify it in basic HTML tags, this is the way I specify it. It could be H2, depending on my on my um, discretion, it could be H2, or H3, or H4. If I have some other sub tags, I can make it H2, then I can put H3. I want the, the that means this is going to be smaller when it gets here. Okay, that's for adding tags. Now, you also have another tag which is a paragraph tags. Um, if you have it like this, that means you can write a whole paragraph. Take, for instance, the 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 website that we were talking about. This is the paragraph. This is a paragraph. The HTML is a programming language. Let me try and the html is a programming dot 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 then i'll close the tag is a paragraph tag the same thing that means it's 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 just trying to tell you that you should create a paragraph you should make it a paragraph um whatever content that you're going to put there is going to give you some space on top and the space below then there's, there's another tag which we call the break track break this does not have any value but what it does is that it moves you to the next level i can put a page this contains a break tag here can you see there's no space here and i move to the next level from here this is a break tag i can put it inside i can even put it inside this my paragraph and say break tag then i'll continue another word blah 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 so this is just to tell move you 
next 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 uh, line okay another thing I'm going to be talking about is a very important type but let me clean up this so that we can uh, write on the board what we are trying to talk about Okay, referring back to what we're talking about, the tags, uh, the kind of tags that we're talking about, we're going to also talk about the, uh, the line tag. That means you want to rule a line. You can rule with this tag. This is you. Underline. That means underline. And you can close back. You underline by closing like this. You can also uh, order um, the kind of, if you want to rule a line to cross a particular section, you can just write this HR, then you rule with this. This is almost not uh, possible with the former HTML standard. Okay, that means HTML 3.0 and HTML. Sorry. Let me clean that up. Okay. HTML 4.0, but it's very possible with HTML 5.0. It's possible here, but it doesn't sometimes look very good with this. But it's very good with this. It's sometimes used in doing the reporting when you're doing reporting. Okay, if you're a young girl or a young boy that you want to list your clothes, maybe your daddy or your mommy is making some clothes and you want to do a website for them, you can actually list it inside the body tag. body tag and you close it with this okay so another line I'm going to be showing you a book in which you can actually just read up so that I can get to master all the tags that we have can you see this uh, this is the one we're talking about now and this is an example of an empty uh, element it doesn't have any element. I will still talk to you about the element that we're talking about now. Can you see this simple one? Can you see the head? Can you see this? The body? The body? The body opens air. Opens air and enclosed air. This is a line. This is like the breaker. You break the line. They call it horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are used to uh, visually break up sections or a document of a document. Sections of a document. If you want to demarcate one section from another, uh, that's the kind of thing uh, that HR does. Let's say you've written some da 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 some things up there, and you want to now break the line. And now starts another thing here. That's what we use mostly. The um, the HR um, the slash. In continue with um, we close that tags. These are all called tags, and with these tags, sometimes the tags have elements. Take for instance, we have a tag called table this is going to be really used you're going to be using this table a lot it has a lot of elements in it it has a lot of style it has a lot of element like style let me let me erase that and write it it has element like width 
element like width or attributes width he has height must be equal to something he has height must be equal to something maybe 40 maybe 20 that means you're saying that the table this table then you close it then you can now close the table That means that this table should have a width of 40 pixels. It depends on your uh, calibrations and your measurements. You can use the CM or you can use the meter. You can use anything you want. But most especially on the computer, they use pixels and inches. You can use the 40 pixels. That's going to be very small. Let me say 400 pixels. And we can use the height of um, 200 height. Can you see? We are defining this table. And that is what the work of an element, I mean, element inside the tax, what it does. The attribute inside the tag, that's what it, it does. Now, we, this is now going to lead us to the next level. Of the elements and the attributes, the elements and the attributes of a tag of HTML tags. You can read up about the other tags that we have on um, on the on the tags. I mean, on the HTML. Okay, so another way. Another tag that you will, will be using mostly when we're developing our HTML tag is um, um, div. This is very good with HTML 5.0 div and everything stays inside div. Instead of using a table, um, table looks like this table, then the attributes. You close, you close that tag and you close the tag totally here. Then you can now put TR, that means table row. Then you close the TR here. Then you now put table data. This is where you actually put your data and you close your table data here. Table data here. Now, what you have just done here. What this means is that you've created a table. This might not be seen to your viewer. You have created a row. This is the whole row. What you're looking at is the whole row. If you have another TR, then that means you have two rows. You have created a row and you have created a um, way you can actually write. You can write if you say hello word in between the td then you have hello word here hello word here this is not going to be shown to the to the viewers i'm just using that as an example for you you're just going to see hello word Hello world. All right. So that's going to be that. I mean, that's going to be our lesson for the basic HTML tags. And um, in the next lecture, we're going to be talking about um, elements, the element inside the tags. This is a tag. This is the opening of the tags. This is the closing of the tag. This is the opening of the tag. This is the closing of the tags. All right. So, um, Thank you. I'll see you soon. And make sure you do your assignments. Um, the assignment is very important so that you can have um, close to 50% or above 50% for you to be able to have a certificate by the end of this course. And we are going to be doing a lot of practical as soon as possible. Thank you. See you soon.